Hey guys, it's Kenneth, and today I'm going to be helping you learn the song um, Needle and Haystack Life. Um, this is probably going to be part one of par part one um, because I think it, it's going to go over 10 minutes. Um, but I'll teach you in this part one the opening uh, riff, which is this. <laughs> And, um, so yeah, that's like the main centerpiece of this whole entire song. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe to my, my to my MySpace, my YouTube. Um, this is my second tutorial I've done, so, um, please feel free to comment below on what I need to work on and, um, what, what you thought I did pretty well. So yeah, thanks for watching, and here we go. So this is in C major, and it's in standard tuning. The strings from the top to bottom are going to be E, A, D, G, B, and E. Um, so there's a couple ways to do this. Um, I think the first way I'll show you is how I think Drew plays it. I've seen his hands on the live DVD, on the DVD that came with the CD, and I think um, this is how he plays it. And then there's this way, um, the way I think John plays it, because it's a lot easier to play in one uh, one position. He's playing it like this. Like that. Okay, so I'll teach you, I'm going to teach you um, the first, the John's way first, because I think it's a lot easier. Um, so what you're going to be doing is, um, with your fourth finger, you're placing it on the bottom string on the third fret. That's a G note. And then you're going to put your first finger, which is this finger. So this is fourth, this is first. Putting your first finger on the first fret of the B string. That's a C note. And then the next note you're going to be playing is the open G string. So those are the first four notes you're playing. You're going to be plucking the bottom G the bottom C, and the open G, and then that G again. So G, C, G, G. Then from there, you're already kind of barring here, so I just lift off of my fourth finger and play that same pattern again of the, oh, the E string, the B string, and the G string, but with this. So those notes, you're, you're um, actually covering the bottom B and E strings with your first finger and you're plucking from the top up sorry from the bottom up so it's from the very beginning it's gonna be uh, this is how I play it then the next note is the open E string you're since you're barring you just lift up and play the from the bottom up the bottom three strings from the bottom up again. Open E, the C note that you're putting on your first finger on the B string, and the open G string. And that E again. And then from there is the da 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 da, and that part is you're putting your third finger on the D note on the B string, the third fret. So third fret, um, B string, third finger, select that, the C note like you did before on the B string, first fret, B string, then up again to the third fret on the B string, and then the bottom open E string. So it sounds like this. So from the very, very beginning, it's going to look like this with your hand. And that is the way I believe that John plays it. Um, the picking is a little bit more complicated. Well, it's kind of complicated. Um, the way I pick it is I start down. So the strings you're, you're obviously picking are 
on the bottom three strings. So you gotta move them. So here is, um, I start down on that E string, up on the B, down on the G, up on the E string, then I release my fourth finger, down on the E string, up on the B, string down on the G string, up on the E, open, so I, I'm going to release the bar, and down string, down stroke on the bottom E string, up on the B string, down on the G string, up on the E string, and then alternate on here. So it's down, up, down, up. So from a little bit faster is down, up, down, up, down, up. So I guess it's basically all alternate. The only hard part is because you're skipping strings, so it's not like it's not all on one string or two strings. It's a, it's a, you're skipping strings, so it's a little bit harder. So yeah, that's the way I believe that John plays it. Um, okay, how much time we got? Six thirty, six and a half. All right. So now I'm gonna try to show you how Drew, I think Drew plays it. Um, let's see. What fret are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the eighth fret. Eighth fret, you're gonna put your pinky on, which is your fourth finger, on the B string, eighth fret. Um, so from there, you're gonna go down three frets, one, two, three, to the fifth fret. Fifth fret, and with your first finger, cover that, or put it, your first finger on that fifth fret. That's a C note. This is a G. That's a C. This is a C. And then the open G string. So you're going to play um, the B string, 8th fret. The first finger, 5th fret on the G string. Then lift off, but still cover that G string. And play the open G string. So. And that's what it sounds like. So the very first thing is... Now from there... You're gonna play that G note again with your fourth finger. Lift off and, and right where your second finger is, it should be on that, uh, what is that, the sixth fret, on the B string. Put your second finger there and play that. Then first finger on the fifth fret, keeping it in the same position, on the G string, and then open. So from here... You're just putting your two down and playing that same riff again. Two again, so second finger. Then you're just gonna bar, almost bar. So your first finger is on the fifth fret B string, and it's also covering the fifth fret G string. So B string first, um, G string, and then open G string. Or actually, from there, let's see. From there, I shift down and play the same note, but I'm substituting my first finger for my third finger. So this is still the fifth fret B string, but I'm switching it with my third finger to get down to here, which is the third fret um, first finger, which is a D note, and then um, the fifth fret G string with my third finger, back again to the first finger B string, third fret, and I slide up from there to two frets to the fifth fret. And that is the whole entire riff. Um, so slowly. A little faster. And 
the picking is pretty much the same as before, it's alternate, starting with the down. The only difference is on that last slide up, I'm not picking that up, down, up, I'm going. So it turns out to be two downs. And that is how you play the opening riff to Needle in a Haystack 5. Alright, uh, go on to, I'm not sure which way it's going to be. Sidebar, I think, is that way or this way. But, um, yeah, part two should be coming up. Thanks for watching.